Valentino giving me suits. Respectfully checking back in, Bronx Capo. 21 salute. So after reading the comments yesterday from the Ice T video and listening to Ice T the rest of the Drink Champs interview, I don't think people who's in Ice T's age range understand Machiavelli and the Machiavelli album and how that changed and rearranged hip hop. Some would say way for the better. And how Tupacalus now was like the the entrance enter as Tupacalus now exit Machiavelli. Like I don't understand I don't think these OGs understand. I don't even think I understand why they don't understand. You know, coming up in the era with my OG Smooth B, watching these OGs around Pac back then, they were using their clout that they gained from having, you know, being signed or released before Pac against Pac. Wasn't giving him a fair chance as far as this could be the dawn that we sitting next to. And moving forward, 25 plus years later, the narrative that these OGs got out here, they just don't want to admit it. He's the king of the West Coast. There's no artist that can say they rep the West Coast the way Pac rep the West Coast. Pick one. And actually dropped a double album that was exclusive. That's what I mean. Like the history of Pac goes beyond rap. Just starting with the Panther movement and what the Panthers did for our culture. What up? This is about Tupacalypse now. It's telling them a little something it's about the it. It's the chronic. It's the chronic. Hey, tell us a little something about your home. You just automatically start thinking, uh-oh, he gonna be just the show. I'm still down for my N-I-G-G-A. Why is that? Right. Because that's who was down with me when I was out. It got to interrupt everything. Right. So, um, you went solo for a minute. Um, what's the situation with you and the Digital Underground? Uh -huh. Um, do this and I'll be home and not, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Make my loot, get back in the house. Right, see, the underground, this show is dedicated. He who writes for billboard charts, but kicks the material from inside the heart. For my man Tupac. Uh -huh. So check it out uh, in the videos and everything. How the women are... But it was, it's like this. It's worse than it was before because they get it all the time, man. Right. But it's phony. I see it's phony. I ain't tripping. You know, I'm so, out here make, doing what I got to do. Uh, this season. Uh, if I'm strapped, I'm down with OPP. But <laughs> strapped meaning those condoms, Jimmy hat. You know. Strapped. And I don't mean on it. See, which one you want to get into, man? Um, Let's go off the first thing. Trap. Introduce that video. Yo. This is one of these right. They got me trapped, man. Do you think um, there was a difference from the Tupac that was on Digital Underground and the Tupac that was on Death Row? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think we can all absolutely say that. see Pac when I when I first met Pac and, and, and Money B and all them. It was Digital Shock Underground. G, so you got Shock G, who's a hundred percent different Parliament. This that, and the third. I didn't even recognize Pac as militant or nothing like that, just as a dancer, friend, cool. And when he came out, I was like, yo, that's the same dude, you know? But I, I couldn't disrespect him because his lyrics was deep. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got to work on on Tupacalypse Now, me, him, and q That's a Rock, great album. Wow. On, on Last Words. Wow. So what, what people don't understand is I love Pac. Right. I love Pac, but... 
he's an artist to me. He was just another artist. You know, people like Pac is a god, but Pac is an artist. He's like Nori to me. He's just an artist. Sure. So we were friends and people, I, I, last time I was on here, I said something. Oh, I said I tried to talk to Pac and people like, you can't talk to Pac. I'm like, Pac's 13 years younger than me. Right. And West Coast definitely has a pecking order. If you're a little older, motherfuckers will sit down. And uh, I had a story where Shock G came to my house. Told you that story. I lived in Hollywood Hills. Shock came on my door. I said, why the fuck are you knocking on my door? He said, I was up in the hills. I asked, does any black people live up here? <laughs> That's what Shock G said to you? <laughs> they said, Ice lives right over there. So Shock knocked on my door. We sat down and he was like, Ice, talk to Pac, man. You know, they feeding Pac gunpowder. Pac is like not listening to this me. This is no. Pac now on death row. You know, and I, I and we had conversations, but see, the thing of it is, it's like when you setting up, uh, when you're working with a rapper, you have to get a rapper in a state of mind. Death Row was training Pac to be a killer, which you heard in the music. But like I did a thing for Mike Tyson, which is like you train a man to be a pit bull, then you get mad when he eats the furniture. You see me? So that energy bled into the streets to his demise. Uh, because like <clears throat> at the end of the day you would never kind of like recommend someone to get into gang culture because gang culture like it's like I wouldn't advise anybody getting in the streets those are my, my those would be my biggest records Dr. Dre or Puff Daddy Dre okay Dre no, no doubt I love Puffy Puffy to me is the ringmaster. He's the master of everything that moves in hip hop. He does his thing. He's a, ma a magnificent promoter and stuff like that. But I'm not really, I don't know Puffy's true producing power mm -hmm. as far as what Dre does. Dre is a studio rat, stays in the studio. The only thing about Dre, and Dre is one of my very dearest friends. Right. The reason I never record with Dre is it'll never come out. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, right, let's work. And I'm like, okay, now we did it. Let's put it. No, 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 no. He just, he's very so meticulous. But see, the thing of it is when you sell 10 million records, you don't want to put out anything that's not right, going right. to sell 10 million records. Right. But he just finished a new album with Snoop. Yeah, oh, man. That's the, them, because right. Snoop is Dre's first artist. Right. That's the, that's the magic. Can't wait to hear that. I've heard a lot of it. But, uh. Oh, you've heard it. Yeah, I get, I, I got a whole, I got a, my phone is full of Dr. Dre records. So where do you think it compares to his body of work? That, what you've heard so far? It's just magnificent. See, Dre, 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 I guess has certain people he trusts. And so I listen to the music and I give him back my, honest my opinion. Feedback, right. Honest feedback. Like he'll send me five records. I'll say, this is my favorite. That's all you need. I like this one out of all of them and stuff. But, um. Dre special. Cool. One well, next question. Don't think Puffy ain't special though. Puffy invited me to a lot of fly ass parties. I don't want to lose my invitation. Fuck. <laughs> I love 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 Mr. Love. I love you. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it wrong. I fucks with Puff. Puff is cool with me. <laughs> Let the record show. <laughs> so would you rather be loved or feared? Love. Absolutely love. Fear. Fear is not is not is the bullshit. Love keeps you safe. The reason nobody will let nothing happen to me in here because you motherfuckers got love for me. Right. Not because nobody's scared of me. Uh, scared man, it only takes six ounces of pressure from a kid and a torpedo send the kid at you. Pow, they put put you mm. down. Let me can I break this down? This is a good one. Yeah. If you got love, you have a group of people around you that love you. That's your inner circle, right? You taking care of them. They talk to other people and they say, yo, yo, Effin's my man, blah, blah, blah. That's another circle. Maybe you helping them, they helping them. Okay? There's another circle of people outside of them. They hear, oh, Effin's a good dude. That's my man, right? So it's a big circle. 
that ice is a good or you're a good dude. You know how you're in danger is when your inner circle turns on you. When your inner circle it got a prom and they the ones that can let motherfuckers in. Mm. But if you got that circle right, before somebody over to the left moves on you, they're gonna run into one of your people. That's like, nah, that's not gonna happen, cuz. Because of layers, right? Because of love, of layers of love, not fear. Right. Fear is a challenge. Mm. Fear is a challenge. Oh, he's supposed to be hard. Nigga, fuck that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But love will protect you uh, to an extent. To an extent. Because like I told Nori last night, the bullet will hit you before the rep hits them. Mm. So I'm in I'm in South Beach cruising, fly. They move on a car. Blah, ice got hit. But that was ice? Yeah, they didn't know. They don't know. So the niggas out at night doing dirt, they can get it. Now, why... Why do I know that element is out? Because I used to be in that element looking for fucking hunting niggas. So I know you're in danger out there. You look like a big piggy bank. You in a Maybach, you look like a big piggy bank. But in a real situation, the only reason anybody in here would hold me down is because they got love for me, not because they're afraid of me. Right. Fuck out of here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm much more of a lyrical cat, and I loved Illmatic when it first came out and stuff like that. I love Pac, but it's on, I only like certain Pac records. You know what I'm saying? I only like certain Pac records. It's my, it's my taste. Now, crucify me on the West Coast, but I'm a much... I, I, I would study Nas, and I think that Nas being... What was he, 16? Uh-huh. Yeah, he was young. That, that eliminates the excuse of young rappers claiming, well, I'm young. Hmm. That kid was, you know, and I I sat there listening to that album like, I got to get better. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I like, you know. If you're the, if you're the baddest nigga in the room, you're not going to grow. You know, when I go out, I want to be the brokest nigga in the room. That's the only way I can come up, you know. So I like to be around, so I like, I love being around Busted Rhymes and Super Rappers and shit like that. People you, you think is, is just as good as you are or better? Better. When I first started rapping, I was in the studio with Cat with Melly Mel and Cat and Kaz. All right. And that first people I ever seen right in the studio, write they raps in the studio. What? Right. Yeah. But they was like, yo, if you write it to the beat, it's going to flow better than if you write it and try to push it over the beat. Mm-hmm. I had to learn that. Now I don't write, I don't write until I got the beat. Mm. I learned that, but Nas is a Nas is half man, half amazing. This nigga is something else, and 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 like and Pac was too. But Pac had to kind of grow. I don't know. Think of it is with Pac. I knew Pac when he was in Digital Underground, right? Right. So it took me a minute to accept Pac as a rapper. You know, because we gonna come back to that. We gonna come. You know what I'm saying? 